farmers are investing in areas of biodiversity, they're looking at creating more habitats for wildlife, and they're looking at improving water runoff and potential pollution incidents uh, to the benefit of everybody. To me, sustainability means that you can produce your product, make money, cover your costs, invest stuff back into your business and improve the environment as you're doing it. So at the moment, we're looking at ways to become net zero. So one of the ways we're doing this is becoming a leaf farm. So we're looking at our woodland, our arable land, how we produce the livestock and looking at ways of reducing our inorganic inputs such as fertiliser and chemicals and trying to make more efficient use of machinery and staff. Something we've started doing is growing low lysine and visine beans on the farm to be able to put into the pig feed to try and reduce our soil usage. We've also got solar panels on our grain store which we use all of the electricity we produce on the pig farm. We look at how the farmers are managing the grazing standards, how they're managing the land management. We've also had other assurances done. We do want to build a greener, more sustainable, efficient system which works for the cows, for the farmers and produces a great product for the consumers. For the customer, if they're buying an assured product, then they'll know that what's deemed to be good agricultural practice will have been followed. For me, it was incredibly important that this was independently verified because I wanted people who were buying the milk to have trust in that label. The rules and guidelines around uh, what emissions you can produce, what pesticides you can use are really highly controlled. Assurance helps farms because there's specific assurances looking at the environment and the effects of it. This is going to help farms get even better for the future.